So here we are back with our next joystick tutorial and in this one we're actually going to take the joystick and we're going to get the sense hat to react to the joystick. So as in we're going to put something up in the little matrix display um, in response to what we're doing with the um, with the mouse or with the with the joystick. So to start off with, I've um, again I've imported the stuff. I've initialized the sense hat. I've made it so the screen is clear. I've got um, like I did in the last video. I've got an endless loop which is listening. The event is listening for the event of the joystick being used. Right here. So then we need to see if an event happens. So if we say if event dot action. Now remember last time we had two different things, you had the, the direction and the action. So we're looking for the action which says pressed. Okay, so if the action is coming which it says pressed, radio, we want it to do something. Oh, I've got to put my semicolon at the end there. So if it's pressed, we want it to do something. And what we're going to do is we're going to react according to the different types of direction it is. So I'm just going to say, put a comment in here, chat direction, oops. Radio, and now I'm going to say if event, I'm going to use the other event handle or the other part of the event handler here, and that's the direction. If that is up, then what I oh, finish off my there, my string. What I wanted to do is I want the sense hat to show the letter. U. Okay. Um, else if the event direction equals down, um, then I can say since show letter oops, D. Alright. And of course, the next couple of ones, um, L if event dot direction equals left, semicolon, and then I want it to show, show the letter of L. And elf event direction equals right. I want it to show the letter right. And with the last one, if we press the button in, we're going to say L if event shows uh, no event direction sorry equals middle then we want it to show now I haven't got an if and else at the end here and that's actually pretty good practice because if there's an error if it gives an error message or something it's not going to respond to it so I'm looking for very particular values I'm looking, oh, that's, those are really wrong. Let's try fixing those up. Um, show letter and show letter. So what I'm gonna do while I fix this up, I want you to see if you can pause this and have a bit of a prediction. What do you think is gonna happen when we press, um, when we press the actual button. Actually, there's a couple more things I want to do. I'm going to go um, sleep. So I want it to wait a little while. So I'm going to go sleep for 0 0.5 um, and then sense.clear. So I'm going to show up for a little bit and then disappear. But before I do that, because I'm using sleep, I need to um, import that command from the time library. Okay, so there we are, that's the code. Um, have a bit of a prediction what you think is going to happen when I press play. So there's all the code there. Okay, so pause it, have a prediction. Right, so let's see, and what's gonna happen if I now run this? Okay, nothing's happening over there now, but if I come over and if I press up, 
it's going to show up down it'll show down for half a second left right middle so there we are so we can see that um that's the actual taking the two different parts both the action and the direction values and interacting with that with the lcd screen